Today, you're going to view a video and take notes so that you can learn about watersheds and how they affect the ecosystems around them. Make sure that you pause the video at any time in order to complete your notes. It doesn't matter how far you live from a stream, a river, or a lake. Everyone lives in a watershed. When precipitation occurs, water runs to the lowest point in an area. It usually ends up in a stream, a river, or a lake. On its way to the lowest point, the water crosses over surfaces of forest land, suburban land, and urbanized areas. It may simply seep into the soil and travel through an aquifer underground. Everything that happens to a watershed can affect what happens and what ends up in the water. Eco means environment. An ecosystem is a community of the plants, animals, and smaller organisms that live, feed, reproduce, and interact in an environment. An ecosystem can be as large as the Sahara Desert or as small as a puddle in your driveway. If ecosystems don't remain in balance, they will fail. No community can carry more organisms than its food and water and shelter can accommodate. Food and territory are often balanced by natural things such as fire, disease, and predators. The health of an ecosystem depends largely on the quality of water. Abiotic factors are important to the quality of an ecosystem. A, the prefix, means not. Therefore, an abiotic factor are factors that contribute to an ecosystem that are not living. Some abiotic factors are the water supply, landforms, soil, sunlight, and air quality. As you can imagine, a clean, abundant water supply, healthy soil, Adequate sunlight and clean air will contribute to a healthy ecosystem. If the ecosystem is in peril, for example, um, strip mining land or poor or air quality, the ecosystem will not be as healthy. Remember when we talked about the end of the dinosaur era, when an asteroid landed on Earth. That ash blocked the sunlight from reaching the Earth, and many species died as a result. What is a watershed? This is a picture of the Shenandoah Valley watershed. A watershed is the land that water runs across or through on its way to a stream, a lake, or a wetland. As you can see in this picture, when it rains, the rain will hit the top of the mountains, roll down the mountains, across the farmland and pasture land, and into the river. We live in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. As someone who lives in the Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay watershed, you're probably only a few minutes away from one of its streams. There's more than 100,000 streams and rivers in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Each stream flows into another body of water that eventually flows into the bay. They're like tiny blood vessels in your body that eventually flow into the blood that gets to your heart. These small streams are called tributaries. A tributary is made up of all the streams and rivers that feed into the main river. If you live in, live in Stevens City, you may have a small stream th running through your neighborhood, known as Wright's Run. Also, the Apecan Creek runs through our area. These are just some small tributaries that eventually end up in the Shenandoah River. If you take a look at this map of Virginia, you can see the several different small watersheds in the Shenandoah and the Shenandoah River. Take a look of all the tributaries that flow. So 
what is a floodplain? Well, a floodplain is a flat, wide border area that's near rivers and streams. When water's high, water spills out into this area. This picture is an example of a floodplain down near the Shenandoah River. Watersheds are separated by areas called divides. Divides are high elevation ridges of land that separate one watershed from another. In the United States, there are several major watersheds. As you can see in this map, the Mississippi River Basin watershed is separated by the Rocky Mountains in the west and separated by the Appalachian Mountains in the east. In this picture, each of these major rivers flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Which watershed do we live in? We live in a watershed called the Potomac Shenandoah Watershed. The Potomac Shenandoah Watershed is part of a larger watershed called the Chesapeake Bay. The Potomac Shenandoah Watershed is unique because the water in the Shenandoah River flows from south to north. Our watershed empties into the Potomac River in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. When the water in the Shenandoah River meets with the Potomac River in Harpers Ferry, it then flows to its final destination of the Chesapeake Bay before it hits the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see in this picture, Harpers Ferry is in the center of the town. On the left side, you'll see the Shenandoah River. On the right side is the Potomac. The Shenandoah merges with the Potomac and continues on as the Potomac down into the Chesapeake Bay. The Shenandoah Potomac River watershed is part of a larger watershed called the Chesapeake Bay watershed. The Chesapeake Bay watershed is part of six states, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia. Make sure you write these down in your notes because you will have each of these states that make up the Chesapeake Bay watershed on a later test. You may want to make up a mnemonic to remember them such as, my very perfect dad never wears DC shoes, or new people make very delicious waffles, or Doc went north during Mary's Valentine party. You probably can come up with something that's even better. At this point, please turn your paper over and you will see a map of the major watersheds of Virginia. Remember that the, the, Shannon, uh, the Chesapeake Bay watershed is part of six states, Delaware, Maryland, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, and DC. Please take a moment to write these on your paper. When you're finished taking notes today, your paper should look exactly like mine does. Now, use a colored pencil to circle the words of each of the watersheds as we talk about them. We live in the Potomac Shenandoah watershed. What I'd like you to do is take your colored pencil and trace the boundary of the Potomac Shenandoah watershed. As you can see, right here is the Shenandoah River, which runs from south to north up into Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. When it reaches Harpers Ferry, remember it joins with the Potomac Water, the Potomac River, and travels down into the Chesapeake Bay. Next, we have the Rappahannock watershed. Please make sure you trace the boundaries of the Rappahannock. The following watershed is the York Watershed. Last 
briefly for the Chesapeake Bay watershed is the James. These four watersheds make up the Chesapeake Bay watershed from Virginia. 60% of Virginia is in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. But remember, it spans 64,000 square miles in six states. Three watersheds in Virginia actually empty into the Gulf of Mexico. Please put a circle around these three. They are the Big Sandy, the Tennessee, and the New. The remaining two watersheds in Virginia, the Roanoke and the Chowan, both empty into the Albemarle Sound in North Carolina. Please circle these and write Albemarle Sound. Finally, a few important things to remember. Please write down the following as we talk about them. Remember that the, we live in the Potomac Shenandoah watershed. The water in this watershed flows from the south to the north. It then empties into the Potomac River and Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Lastly, that water flows into the Chesapeake Bay, which then goes into the Atlantic Ocean. Hopefully your finished map looks something like this. Now it's important to know that there's four watersheds in Virginia that are part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Again, that's the Potomac Shenandoah, the Rappahannock, the York, and the James. If you remember from elementary school the saying, please remember your jacket, this will help you remember these. Please go home and study this map, the locations of each of the small watersheds, the six states, and the direction that our Potomac Shenandoah watershed flows, because in two days you will have a quiz on this material.